Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another review. Glad to have you back. I appreciate you viewing. And uh, good news, it's finally getting cool enough here in Florida that we can have our windows open. Took a while, but we're here. We had a cold front come in after Milton hit us. And uh, it's been nice. It's supposed to actually get down close to 50 degrees tonight. So that's actually kind of chilly for a Floridian. It gets down below 60 and we start putting winter coats on, parkas and stuff like we were in the Antarctic. So, yeah, <laughs> it's bad. Anyway, uh, today we are doing the Alec Bradley Black Market. Yes, there it is. Alec Bradley. Not one of my favorite brand names, but a good brand name. They are solid, consistent. They consistently put out a good quality product, in my opinion. Um, like I said, they're not my favorite brand line, but they uh, are a good brand line. And you can always count on them to have a good product and usually very reasonably priced which is a plus, you know, so, but anyway, yep, today we're doing the black market, and let me see if I can find some information on this real quick, I should have already had this pulled up, I apologize, that's my bad, uh, let's see here, uh, oops, my bad, nope, we want to do this, Go back. I got a little click happy there. I went someplace I didn't want to go. All right, let's see. All right, so. Um, the black market is this one is the Gordo, and it is a 6x60, six and the wrapper is an Ecuadorian Sumatra, the binder is Nicaraguan, and the filler is Honduran and Nicaraguan, and it is made in Honduras. It's touted as being a medium, medium strength, but we'll see about that when we get into it, uh, and it's... Uh, Dark brown Maduro wrapper, which, yeah, you can see that's a Maduro wrapper for sure. Anyway, yeah. I would say it's more Maduro than dark brown, but that's just me. Okay, here we go. Get the paper off here. Yeah, I know. Some of you say I should leave the paper on. Others agree with me and say I should take it off. You know, that's the thing about cigars. There's really no right or wrong way to do it. Well, in certain respects there are. But as far as having the paper on or paper off, well, this one you kind of got to take the paper off to smoke it. You know what I'm saying? Or else you're going to be burning paper. But the band itself, there's a lot of debate. Some people like to leave it on. Some people like to leave it off. Take it off. I prefer to take it off. And it's up to you your choice. You bought the cigar. You paid for it. You can smoke it however you want. Nobody else should tell you how to smoke your cigar. I mean, they can offer suggestions, of course. But, in the end, it's up to you how you want to do it. So, anyway. Trusty tabletop, light, tabletop lighter. Let's go. Started using this thing again. I'm loving it. Yeah, baby. Beautiful. Oops. Beautiful. Little, little weird in the cut. I didn't have it exactly square, but you know what? As my dad used to say, good enough for the girls I date. My mom always hated it when he said that, too. She would give him hell for saying that. 
which I don't blame her, but you know. He never meant pers anything personal towards her. It was just a saying he picked up. All right. Interesting. I noticed something. Maybe you can see it. I'll try and line it up where it's like. You see the uh, indentation in the thing right there? How it kind of dips down like a little valley? I've never seen one do that before. It'd be interesting to see if it's a core runner or not, or if it burns on one side or not. That might be a construction issue. The, band, the wrapper looks good. I don't see any blemishes on it, per se. Very veiny wrapper, which I don't mind. Getting no aroma whatsoever off of it. Just a hint. I mean, a minuscule hint of tobacco. Other than that, I'm not getting anything. That's weird. Never had that happen before. Usually you get something. Anything. All right. Pre-draw, getting a good tobacco note. Bit of earthiness. That's about it. A bit of earthiness. That's it. And this thing is pretty straightforward. Kind of interested to see how it's going to be when we smoke it. All right. No more using the Bic. My torch lighter came in today. Actually, yesterday. I'm sorry. I fed to you. It came in yesterday. This thing is awesome. Yeah. Got a little stand on it. Holds a ton of butane. Little hint. When you get your torch lighter, only get the ultra refined or double refined butane. If you get the cheap Bronsonal stuff and all that, it has particulates in it and it'll plug up your torch lighter and your torch lighter will have half its life. I learned that the hard way. So yeah, it's worth the extra money to spend and get the ultra refined or double refined butane. Do yourself a favor, or else you're going to be buying a torch lighter for no reason and half the time it normally would take. All right, let's put some fire to this. Fire on it, fire! We love fire. Um, fire to a cigar, let's say that. We love that fire. And on steaks and other grilled items. Oh, that's nice. Smooth right off the bat. Nice and smooth. Oh, we're running already. And it looks serious too. And it's right there where that little valley is that I was showing you earlier. Yep, I was afraid of that. Well, we'll see how it goes as we go along here. I'll let you know in the halfway if it kept burning, running like that, or if it leveled out. It is smooth, very smooth. Bit of earthiness to it. Um, actually, that's about all I'm getting from it. Huh. That's kind of a one-note wonder there. 
Well, that's kind of a misnomer, too. One no wonder. I mean, it's not a bad cigar. I like it. Just it's kind of a one thing. And I know I have smoked these before. It's been a long time, though. Very long time. I mean, matter of fact, years. But yeah, that's basically... Oh, there's a bit of pepper coming in now. Just a bit. Starting to get a little spice to it now. It does have a nice aroma through the nose, I will say that. A bit of pepper coming through the nose, too. It's starting to even out a little bit, as you can see. It's not so pronounced now. So, we may be okay on that runner. I'm thinking we'll be okay. Alright, well, I'm going to give this pause, and then um, I will update you about halfway through. Alright, before we get started on the halfway point here, I would like to take this opportunity to thank someone for donating to the channel to make some more reviews possible. Tom, thank you very much. I appreciate it. You have no idea. It means a lot to me that people like the videos so much that they're willing to donate to help them keep them coming. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate it. Tony. I would like to thank you for donating. I appreciate it very much. I'm glad that they entertain you while you're taking breaks on your job. Uh, and I hope that you find them not only entertaining, but also enlightening. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right. I would, if you would like to have a shout out on the channel, you can make a donation. You can find my PayPal and my Cash App in the video information below. And with that, we will continue. As you can see, we're down to halfway. Now, as you can see, the runner evened itself out. Once I got past that dip that I showed you, leveled out. Just even burn all the way around. That was the only flaw in the construction I found. And to be honest, it wasn't that big a deal. So I'm not going to hoop and holler and raise a big stink about it. Just something that happens. I mean, something that's handmade cannot be 100% perfect consistency 100% of the time. That's just the nature of the beast. And I realize that there's going to be some inconsistencies. And that's okay. I can live with that. The draw has been excellent. Not had any issues with that. Uh, like I said, the runner evened out. The wrapper is held together very good. Um, getting a little pepper. Smooth. Very smooth. I like that. A little earthiness. Got a nice aroma back through the nose. Yeah. Bit of grassiness back through the nose. Smell of hay, somewhat. Unless you grew up on a farm, you probably don't know what that smells like. But imagine uh, a lawn after it's been mowed for two or three days and out in the sun. That's kind of what it's like. Um, yeah. Holds the knife pretty good. The ash is not 100% white, but close enough. Cap. Not have any problems with it, where it was capped. Yep. 
so far, so good. Very good cigar. I'm enjoying it. Like I said, Alec Bradley's not one of my all-time favorite brand lines, but they always are usually a consistent, good brand, and reasonably priced. And I don't mind smoking them. I like them. So, all right. Well, we'll pause this, and then I will uh, catch up to you when it finishes. Hey, we're getting down to the bottom of it here. Yeah, been a good smoke. I've enjoyed it. Um, construction's held up good, except for that issue at the very beginning, which took care of itself. Uh, wrappers held together good. Been a good burn. No problems with the draw. Still, the spiciness kind of gone away. And we're getting more of the grassy notes, the hay notes. Um, still a little earthiness to it. Good draw, good amount of smoke. No problems with the draw whatsoever. Even from the beginning. All in all, it's been a pretty good smoke. I would recommend it. Um, I hate to give prices because, you know, prices vary all across the country depending on what state you're in, taxes, that sort of thing. So I'm very reluctant to give prices, but I will say that Alec Bradley are usually reasonably priced cigars. So, you know, you usually can't go too wrong with them. Yeah, been a good smoke. So, all right, well, um, glad you joined us today. Glad to have you along. Um, I look forward to making some more reviews for you. And uh, like I stated earlier, I want to thank anybody that donates. I appreciate it. I'll give you a shout out if you do. Um, if you do want to donate, you can uh, find my Cash App and my PayPal in the video information below, along with the description of the cigar and where the various tobaccos come from, wrapper, binder, filler, all that. Um, size. Um, yeah. Please like, share, subscribe, hit that all notifications bell. So you know when the next video drops. I plan on, for now, I plan on dropping one video a week on every Saturday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time. So um, that way you kind of got an idea when they're going to be coming out. Um, I, I figure that, you know, some people do work Saturdays, but a lot of people don't. Most people don't. And Saturday afternoon would be a good time to drop so you could have time to watch it, watch it and enjoy it. Um, I may switch to Sundays. I'm not sure yet. I'm still kind of kicking that around. So anyway, thank you very much for joining. Um, if you know of a cigar you'd like me to try, drop a comment. Let me know what it is. I'll see if I can find it and get it and do a review on it. Um, I'm working on maybe setting up a post office box, so if you want to send me a cigar or something for me to try, um, hopefully that will be coming sometime in the near future. Can't say when, don't know for sure. Um, if you would like to, let me know. The more people who say they would like to send one, I'll probably try a little harder to see if I can get a mail, uh, post office box. Um, but yeah, I appreciate it. All right, well, thanks for joining in and viewing, and I appreciate it. And, as always, have a great day, ladies and gentlemen.